HLJ.com and happylink.tv. And here we are with the 21st episode. I'm Ardith. And I'm Robin. Yeah, and we are here with the latest batch of goodies and mm. fun stuff. Yeah. We're going to show you some of the goodies that have come out the last couple weeks, and then we shall select one each from among the pile. Oh boy. To liberate. Oh boy. So, hey, let's start. I have yeah. all the candidates over Ooh, here, which we selected from hundreds of goodies. Hundreds. Hundreds, I tell you. What's first? I liked this. This was Shin Mazinger Z. Oh boy. Z. Z. Yes, Z. from Bandai, the uh, Super Chogo Keen. And we'll just take a quick look at him. Does that mean he's die cast? He is die cast. He's cool. nice and hefty. Oh boy. And uh, he's got really cool rust fire effect parts here. So do I, but I don't show them on TV. <laughs> Let's hope not. Wow. <laughs> We're going to have to card people at the door to see that. <laughs> so, yeah. Bandai Super wow. Robot Chogokin. Oh, the wings are cool. Shin Mazinger Z. Yeah, the wings are cool. Wow. Well, I would like to take him out of the box and see him up close. So maybe he'll be one of the candidates. Wow. Next what else up. Is there? Well, from Good Smile Company, there's Kamui Kobayashi. Oh. Who is one of the greatest Japanese F1 drivers ever. Oh, great. He drives for Sauber. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a 1 6 scale figure of him. Unless one eighth, I'm reading that wrong. One eighth, one eighth, one -eighth. scale. Okay. Or else so that means if you got eight of these and stacked them on top, that would be as tall as the real guy is. Yes. Cool. Wow, that's that's quite a departure for Good Smile. It's like a real person. Well, he's a he's a big Japanese hero. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And it's a really really nice sculpt. Yeah, I mean, the is. detail on the on the driving. The suit. detail on the suit is pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow. This has been a really really popular item. Awesome. It is a quite a departure for Good Smile. Yeah. So that's a possibility. Time for another possibility. Oh, I want to open this one too. Oh Next boy. entry in the Figure X Tor Toriko series Toriko. is Terry Kurosu. Or Terry Cloth, as it says. Yeah, on the box. Terry Cloth. I'm afraid it is Terry Cloth. But he's a wolf. He's not a towel. He's cool. He's very cool. Yeah. And highly absorbent. <laughs> I would really like to take out Terry Cloth. However, we, we do not get many of these figure axe items, mm -hmm. and Terry is, he's sold out. Oh, no. He's yeah, sold he's out. about to go off to oh, a new home. Yeah, so if you bought Terry Cloth, this could be your Terry Cloth, could and he's your Terry famous Cloth. on the internet. On TV. Woo! On the interwebs. So we will cheat. We will cheat. We will treat Terry with utmost care. Utmost care. So I guess I guess we gave away the ending. We aren't going to open up Terry. But oh, I wish man. we could because he's so cool. Man. Now we got a couple of really oh, neat k figures. These have just come in mm -hmm. from Clay's. And it's uh, Yui Hirasawa and uh, Mio Akiyama. Mm -hmm. And these are both sculpted. These are 1-6 scale figures. They were both sculpted by uh, Takeshi Miyazawa, Miya, Miyagawa from T's system. T's system, yeah. He is one of the most highly thought of sculptors really in the industry. Is. Have you ever seen the line for his stuff at Wonder Festival? No, but I bet it's out the door. Wow, it seriously is seriously wow. is. I mean, people, you know, as soon as the door is open, Stampede. they yeah, they run like crazy for his wow. for his table. So yeah, these are these are two very very nice Kon figures. These have just come in, and they're Kon, so you know they're going to be cute. And musical. Oh, they have <laughs> the detail on the guitars yeah. is really outstanding too. We should turn this back around and maybe we can see the picture of the guitar here. Yeah. These are really nice. And if we opened these, we could each open one. Hey, that would be cool. And then we could have the Kaon extravaganza. That would be awesome. That might happen. Hey. It could it happen. It could happen. All right. Although I see someone who says, no, that's not going to happen. Uh oh. It's Harley Quinn. Uh oh. Oh, you don't dare say Arkham no to Harley Asylum Quinn. Asylum game. Why don't you handle Harley oh, Quinn? Oh, yes. From Square Enix, this is good old Harley Quinn from the Arkham Asylum game. She's the Play Arts, action fig Play Arts Kai action figure. And you know from seeing the Cyborg Ninja Play Arts Kai action figure that these things are detailed and posable. And she's just got some insane crazy detail. 
she looks like. Let's turn around the box a little here. And... She's a little bit different from the Harley Quinn you're used to seeing. She's got blonde hair as opposed to, you know, so, I don't know that we ever see her hair in the comics. So but uh, This is like the game design? Yeah, this is the design as shown in the game where she's got her kind of a crazy nurse's outfit on. Whatever Harley Quinn wore, it would have to be crazy, but she looks pretty amazing. Well, someone who might have a problem with Harley Quinn getting out of that box is Armored Batman. Bats! Oh, wow. He's a heavy-duty guy. He is heavy. This is heavy. Another Play Arts Kai figure. Oh, wow, it is heavy. That's a pretty pretty serious chunk of plastic. It's because he's armored. That's a pretty serious chunk of Batman. Big beef Batman. Big beefy Batman. Ready to kick Asylum. some bad guy butt from the Arkham Asylum game. Wow, he's shiny. Ooh, he's really cool. Batman shiny. Oh, man, I want to take this one out and play with it. I want to run around, run around in the backyard with this. How cool would that be? Wow. <laughs> I want to be a kid again instead of a kid alt as I am. Wow. Such cool stuff we get here. What else? What else? Well, she has okay. come out at last. The mobile suit girl of uh, Wing Gundam. From Endless Waltz. Here she is, the Endless Waltz version. She's really cute. Yeah, that's another very and popular really armored. One. Is this the first entry in the Armored Girls Project series? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I, I, I believe so, but I'm not entirely sure. There may have been one like a couple of years ago, and then they kind of went, oh, wait. But um, this is the first one that we have now. This is the first one that there's been in a while, at least, if this isn't the first one. So, yeah, she's she's pretty incredible. So I'd like to have a look at her for a fact. Let's take a look at the box. Yeah. Look at all that great stuff she comes with. Oh, I hear Jim out there. Oh. And one of the things that's also a candidate is Jim's favorite. This is the baby doll from Hot Toys. From Hot Toys. One six scale figure. Baby doll character in Sucker Punch. Wow, and they have her strapped in there. Yeah, this, is a, this is a pretty amazing box. It's the first box I've ever seen with, uh, as was pointed out, a bra-like strap. So this, this box essentially has uh, lingerie. <laughs> This is just a beautiful box. It's, it's hard to see on camera, but this blue has kind of like a brocade pattern in it almost, this blue cardboard here. And I don't know if that's going to show up on screen. It's, it's really subtle. It's like you can only see it as the light plays across it. And if you have a chance to see this box in person, you might want to check it out. It's really fantastic. I'd sure like to see this doll in person. Yeah, we, we have one more candidate, to. though. Oh, yeah? After all that great stuff, there's more yes, still? Yes, there is. Oh, boy. And this is, this is one of these uh, UFO catchers that came out. Mm -hmm. And I only picked out one of the four because uh -huh. it's so cool. This is so amazing. And this is Dies Drake. It's the Roman numeral X. It's like for 10 for mm -hmm. Dies, mm -hmm. like in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I butchered that. Drake. Mm -hmm. He's a dinosaur, man. He's a T-Rex <laughs> with flames coming out of his mouth. And wearing a pirate costume. Yes. <laughs> Yes. How cool is that? How Nothing could, else could be as cool. How could be better than a T-Rex wearing a pirate costume? I yeah, ask you. That's gonna be that's gonna be very very hard to to decide. Kind of top. Yeah. And I am gonna throw in one more. Ooh. This is this is my candidate for this is my long shot candidate. A long shot. My long shot candidate. And this is the uh, this is Futures ES Gokin series Mugen Caliber. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see how cute it is? Aww. Yeah, so you can take the Dorvac challenge and have the <laughs> Mugen Caliber. It's so adorable. And it has, it, it, you can transform it into this vehicle mode, into mm -hmm. the Jeep mode, and mm -hmm. it even has little goggle puss uh -huh. to ride in it. <laughs> oh boy. What was his name? I don't know. I've only, only ever called him Goggle Puss. I can't think of his name, but we always called him Goggle Puss when we were Because he has Dorvac. like these goggles yeah. that he wears. Yeah, so, well, he was so annoying. So anyway. <laughs> This looks really sweet, really adorable, and I am shocked that we still have it because future stuff, future does not produce high quantities. Yeah, we don't get much. And of it. they, we don't get much, and boom, it's gone. But I guess not too many people have been willing to take the door back challenge. Well, hey. So uh, I'm willing to if it's <laughs> if it's one of our two winners today. So wow. yeah, the Mugen Caliber, cool caliber, caliber from door back. Oh boy. Okay, so now we are going to pick our things. So that didn't sound right. We are going to pick our candidates. <laughs> and so you pick yours first. I'm going to have to go with Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. Oh, 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 oh. My Hot Toys. Oh, no Gotta pressure. Got to see another mm. Hot Toys figure. Oh, no. What am I going to pick? 
Oh, what am I going to pick? What are you going to pick? How could anything, how could anything be as cool as <laughs> a Tyrannosaurus Rex from One Piece with flames coming out of its mouth? That's a good question. But That's a very good question. Still. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with the... Mobile Suit Girl. There you go. Ring Gundam. So that's what I will be opening up. And maybe maybe he'll get out of the box. Maybe he'll get out of the box, too. During this Fantastic. Week. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at. All right. So we'll let ladies, well, they're both ladies. Hmm. You're, we'll let your lady go first. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Wait, look, it's Sanomaru. Hey, he's the I, mascot of the city of Sano. Sanomaru, and he's playing with a plastic bag. Oh, quit playing with that plastic that's bag, Sanomaru. Sanomaru. It's Sanomaru, and he is here to tell us that he has decided, because he's a samurai, he has decided that I get to, in the actuality, go first. And we have to listen to him, because he has fried sweet potato sticks for swords, and if we d act kind of up, he'll, on his head. he'll hit us with them. Yeah, so that we don't want bad. that. So I'm going to entrust him to you. Okay. And uh, so I <laughs> get to go first. And so let's take a look at the box of the Mobile Suit Girl Wing Gundam Endless Waltz version. Now, see, in Endless Waltz, I always thought the big thing about the Endless Waltz version was that they had can openers stuck on the ends of their toes or something. <laughs> she does She does not have can openers on the end of her toes. She's got wings, though. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. sort of. Yeah, but Wing Gundam had wings in, in the TV series, too. But they were cooler in Endless Waltz. Okay. <laughs> well, I have... The, the magic magic implement of cutting. So let's get so a cut. Now let's let her loose from the box. Okay, she's out of the box. We have all the array of goodies all assembled here on the floor. Pieces on the parts. floor. On, on the, the table. Floor, on the table. I heard a noise down there <laughs> yeah, and I thought sorry. on the floor. <clears throat> wow, look, it's the shield. It says Operation Meteor because it was such a secret. We're gonna put the name on the shield. <laughs> wow. So these are all parts that Get put onto her. Yeah, these are similar. She's similar to the Buso Shinki figures in that it's basically a figure of a cute girl that you can enjoy just as a figure of a cute girl if you like, or you can put all the armor parts on her to make her a giant robot version of a cute girl. And she's wow, and she's posable. She's too. very nicely posable. Wow, cool. This is by Bondi. Yes. Check it out. She even stands for herself. A base wow. is included. Of course, once she gets all of this on her, she's like, gonna like need the to wings and all. Think, yeah. <clears throat> got a nice beam saber. Wow. I like the, the boot parts for the, for the feet there. Yeah. Those are cool. It looks like you probably just pop the feet right off and then pop the, the boot parts in. And here's where like the, what would you call this, like the corona sort of Tiara jobby? maybe. <laughs> and this is a separate good. head so that you don't have to take off a hair piece yeah. and stick the thing on her forehead. I'm impressed with like that because I think some of the Busso Shinky figures you actually have to put those parts on the Figures. Yeah, like on the Saint Seiya Mythcloth guys. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, shall we do the transformation? Yeah, it sounds Let's great. Shall. Now we have the armor on her. She looks great. Yeah. She's really cute. She's a lot more impressive now that she has yeah, the, has the yeah. Gundam wing armor on. Yeah. Turn her around here. I like the, I really like the, the headpiece and I love the wings. The wings are amazing. Yeah. You know, once it came time to put the armor on, you know, we found out that the head actually is a lot like how they do the St. Sia Myth cloths, where mm -hmm. the head is in three pieces. She comes with two heads. We'll take a look at that real shortly here. So there she is. Wow, that's great. Now she did come with two heads. This is the other head, and so the heads are in three pieces. And you kind of have to disassemble it to get it on the figure, right? Right. And then if you want to use this face with it, you would switch that yeah. in. But it's just a matter of taking off the hair. She has various hands, and uh, so she can hold things. She has a gun, Mondo Bazooka, to hold. Wow. Nice shiny gold. She's got her beam saber, and we got that inserted into a hand. 
The beam saber comes off the handle, too. Woo! Okay. Some disassembly required. Woo! <laughs> but that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. And then, probably for ease of putting it into the hand. Yeah. And then you could just pop the hand onto her hand. They slide right on and off. Mm -hmm. Great. There's the beam saber. So there she is. Wow. Mobile Suit Girl, Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz version. All right. Here we have Baby Doll from Sucker Punch, which was known as Angel Wars here in Japan. Angel Wars. Angel Wars, yeah. I don't know why. Um, well, all the girls are very pretty, so maybe that's why. Anyway, this is from Hot Toys. And this is one of, now I know I've raved about Hot Toys stuff before, but this is one of the most amazing things Hot Toys has ever come out with. Even more so than the Jack Sparrow Even that more so than time? Captain Jack. Whoa. Even more so than Captain Jack. We need to thank uh, our staffer, Jim, who has uh, loaned us Baby Doll Our for admin, today. Jim. Thank you, Jim. He's in the corner here. He's in the peanut gallery. Yay. Making faces at us as we go. <laughs> and uh, so he was kind enough to set Baby Doll up in her wonderful pose here. She's got now. Check out now. Hot Toys, they they just they just go went completely all out on this figure. See, I'm completely losing my command of the English language. The scu head sculpt is amazing. Okay, it looks so much like Emily Browning. It's it's almost eerie handling this doll because you almost expect her to talk to you. It's like oh my god. Um, she um, she's got amazing accessories. Uh, she's got her revolver here that you can see, which is tucked into her holster. That holster, I would like to point out, is made of leather. Real it's leather. It's not faux style. leather. It's Ooh, real leather. Wow. wow. Um, the outfit is amazing. As you can see, it's really detailed, perfectly stitched, perfectly in scale with her. She's got her katana and her scabbard across the back there. And uh, I'm going to very carefully pull the katana out of the scabbard so that you can see. Ryan, I'm hoping you can get close enough to the blade to see wow. the engraving on the blade, which is true to the movie. And I mean, this thing is, this is a one six scale thing I'm holding in my hand. So you can imagine how, how detailed the work was that the Hot Toys folks had to put into that. Is that metal? Yes, it is. This, the blade is metal. Wow. So it's got a very nice weight to it. Goes in and out of the shaft, the, uh, the scabbard really nicely. I'm going to continue to turn her around a little bit. She's got rooted hair, unlike Captain Jack, who just has like, you know, rubbery, plasticky sort of mm -hmm. hair. And uh, she's got this fantastic outfit on. Her, I, I'm not sure if her shoes are leather or not, but the shoes are, no, they're not. But her shoes are really awesome, too. The shoes are very detailed. Wow. Everything about this is soaked in detail. Um, I'd like to especially point out the map case that she's carrying. Um, this map case is also made of leather, and I'd like to point out the end cap, the little metal end cap there, you can see it has some cuts and bash marks in it, like it's old and battered and stuff, which is mm. just amazing. It's just an amazing little detail that just makes this, just elevates this above just about anything else you can get. And she does come with some spare hands here. Um, wow, she over killed Sonomoto. Sonomoto. <laughs> and uh, as was seen in the film, her right hand is bandaged, her left hand is not. And she also, I'm going to also show you the revolver in a minute, but she comes with the key, which is a very important part of the film. That was the object that she had Boy, to get. that is so tiny. And it's a tiny little key. Talking about tiny. She's got her revolver here in the holster. And I'd like to point out one thing that just cracks me up is she has these little cute little charms hanging off the end of her revolver, just wow. like those of us in Japan have dangling from our cell phones. And the revolver is also very beautiful because it too is engraved and I'm going to very carefully pull it out of the holster so that you can see the engraving work on the barrel of that revolver. Wow. How fantastic is that? Oh man, oh man. So yeah, this is Baby Doll from Hot Toys. She is wonderful. That's like the ultimate yeah. Ultimate offering yeah. yet from Hot yeah, Toys. Yeah, this is, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do next. I mean, I seriously don't. I mean, I don't know what they can do. <laughs> we are going to actually clone the actors and reproduce them in one six scale for your collection. <laughs> Depending on what actors they did that with, I would be all over that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little too excited about that. Anyway, <laughs> this is Baby Doll from Hot Toys. She is fantastic. If, you, if you're collecting one six scale figures, if you like girls with big guns, 
this is what you need. There you go. And now it's time for questions. 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 First question is, what the heck is <laughs> Drake doing here? I let him out of the box while things are going on. And it's a dinosaur wearing a pirate how costume. How awesome is that? He's got a little jobby to stand in to, uh, to help support him because he's kind of front heavy. Mm -hmm. And you see this expression? Uh -huh. That was me yesterday when I had a bag of special limited edition anchovy and garlic Doritos. Blah. Japan only. Mm. Blah. No wonder. Jeez. I was just like that. So yeah. <laughs> flames shooting out of the side of your mouth. Very wow. cool UFO catcher from uh, That's really Augusta. detailed for a UFO catcher Isn't toy. that cool? It's a dinosaur wearing a pirate costume. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> questions. We questions. have awesome questions. As we always do. Yes. And here's a question from Minja89. Okay. Minja. And just wondering if you could review or show either any latest Hot Toys 1 6th. There you go. Or a Medicom Project BM. <laughs> They really need to change that name. Um, <laughs> well, here's the hot toys. Here's the hot toys. And we'll, uh, we'll look into doing a yeah, project. Yeah, Medicom Project BM. BM in the future. No, it's, a pro it's Bondi and Medicom. That's why they call it Project BM. <laughs> <laughs> Those of us that are 11 years old and set our heads, though, think something else when we hear that. So, oh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Thank you. Vagabond Zero says, thanks a lot for showing Cyborg Ninja. I didn't know it was that big. If you've got any Final Fantasy figures, I would like to see them. Thanks. So we'll think about some yeah, fantasy figures. Yeah. Final, Final fantasy. fantasy figures. Triple F. Woohoo. Okay. Um, are you going to have, this is from Bad Karma, 1942. And that is, are you going to have the Mass Effect 3 Play Arts Kai figures on our show? We on could. Show. I'm not sure exactly when they're, those are coming out, but uh, we could do that. Something we could do to that. think about for the future. Mass yeah. Effect Three. Yeah, excellent game. Excellent oh. game, says Ryan. Ryan recommends. So All right. Well, maybe you can order the figures and then we can play. Yeah, with them. that would be great. Hey, thank you, Ryan. Ryan says it's a go. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ryan. It's a team effort here at Toy Tengoku. <clears throat> Neon N Wave One asks, out of curiosity, what is the most demanded figure you guys have had at Hobby Link Japan? That's a good question. That's a really good question. It varies too. Yeah, it's from month to month, week to week. Um, I mean, there were ones that we received a ton of mail on saying, "Are you going to be selling this?" You know, one was the baby doll, the baby the doll quarter one scale. quarter scale oh, statue from Gentle Giant. Yeah, and so sometimes you know. People on boards talk and they say, oh, we should write Hobby Link and see, and then we get, you know, 47 emails all about one thing. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to gauge demand in yeah. that way, uh, or whether you do it on pieces sold. The, it, you know, the, the figures that people want the most are the ones that usually are not having that many made. Yeah. You know, like the Portraits of Pirates it's the supply series. supply and demand thing. Yeah, or the St. Sam Myth Cloth ones. Yeah. Uh, or it, when the series first starts, the Sentai. Of course, yeah, those wouldn't be figures. Stuff. Those are more like, you know, the role play items and all. Uh, Common Rider stuff. Common Rider stuff, you know, SH Figure Arts. Yeah. So that's that's really, really hard to... A difficult thing to, to, to gauge. Yeah. But it seems like, you know, nowadays, if it's... Everybody wants the really popular stuff, you know, in Japan as well as outside Japan. Yeah, yeah. And the manufacturers, I don't know whether it's... They don't want to... They're taking a gamble, too, because a lot of the things are new properties. Yeah. They don't yeah. know if it's going to be popular or not, so maybe that's why they're a little conservative yeah. in the first They don't want to get stuck wave. with a warehouse full of stuff that didn't sell. Yeah. yeah. Well, nowadays, you know, everything's popular, yeah. so yeah. make more Mega House. Make Please. more Good Smile. Make more Bondi. Make you know, more so. Hot Toys. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next question is... Riser188 asks, will you girls maybe show the Super Robot Solar Aquarian Gold version when it comes out? Well, the Gold version is unfortunately a Tamashii Web exclusive. Oh. It's coming out this October. We have the normal color version. That but came we can't out shortly get the gold ago. one because that's... Gold one is Tamashii Web exclusive. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we can get a ton of stuff, but Tamashii exclusives, exclusives we generally are... can't get. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, VZ Mark II. Mark 
has a comment about when we spoke about Onianus last episode. Mm -hmm. And he says, he points out, they actually did do a figure of Rikini from, from Onianus mm. in the HGIF Gynax heroines line. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I actually looked yeah, it up yeah, and you're right. Yeah, looked it up too in Bondi in June of 2005. That was a while back. So yeah, you've got a really great memory. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for pointing that out. I yeah. had completely forgotten. So, all right. Um, Clay Cannon Tzu, Tzu, Tzu asks, have you ever thought of using a turntable display so you have an easier time pointing out details? You know, if I've actually thought of that, we do carry electric turntables that slowly electric rotate. Electric ones, wow. Well, they're, I think they're battery powered. Oh, I know we carry them, but... Uh, yeah, I think they're battery powered. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that might not be a bad idea it's for us to get one of those. just to have a free yeah. spinning one and then you go, <laughs> and then they can go. Were you one of those people that when you were a little kid you would put your toy animals on the record player and let them take you know rise what's in the record great? player? You know what's great? You get the soundtrack for 2001 A Space Odyssey <laughs> and you put your record player on 78 RPM. And I you, can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. And you not only do that, you have a tape recorder, a cassette tape recorder hooked up to it so that you can have a little cassette tape of it recorded on 78 RPM to listen to whenever you want. <laughs> I'm not living Alrighty in the 70s then. or anything. <laughs> That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> okay, we have other questions, but uh, let's go ahead and save them for next time. Okay. We have some great questions. Thanks a lot for sending yeah, them in. Thank you. And, uh, and thanks for your comments on YouTube mm -hmm. and on uh, hobbylink.tv. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. And we thanks to Jim for letting us borrow Baby Doll for this episode. And also thank you to Ozawa-san for letting us borrow Sanomaru for this episode. Yeah, Sanomaru is uh, our office mascot. He's our office buddy. Yeah. 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 He likes baby doll. I like baby doll. <laughs> I like baby doll. Well, that was a fun episode. That was. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the peanut gallery. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish we had two cameras so you could see what's going on back here. <laughs> so anyway, I yeah. think that I think that'll be it. That'll pretty much wrap it up for this episode of Toy Tengoku. Yeah. So this is the twenty-first episode. That means the next one will be number twenty-two. Two. It's been kind of a two theme running through the past few minutes, it hasn't it? It has been, right. It's been wow. too much fun. Too much yeah, trouble. I'm looking forward to next time. Looking <laughs> yeah. forward to two next time. Absolutely. Okay. We'll see you later. We'll see you then on, on Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.